Hey everybody, Lewin here at GarageBand and Beyond. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about troubleshooting why you can't get a sound uh, from your GarageBand. This will cover uh, vocal mics and you know microphones and electric guitars, anything that's plugged directly into it. There's only a few things that can go wrong. And uh, so let's get right to it. Let's start looking at the screenshots and I'll take you through all the preferences and things that you should be looking for. All right, let's go. All right, here we are at my trusty old desktop. So um, the first thing you want to do is find your system preferences. It's always in the dock. It comes default that way. So the icon looks like this, and it's system preferences. So click on that. Now once that's open, here under hardware, go to the one that's all the way to the right. It says sound, and we'll click on that. Now you can see that I have three different options. I have internal microphone, line in, and fast track. Um, so depending on which one which one of these you're using, you want to make sure that it's selected. Internal microphone is exactly what it sounds like, the microphone that's built into your Macintosh. Line in is for if you're going directly into the Macintosh with just a cable between you and your electric guitar and the, and the computer. And the fast track, the last one on the row there, is for, I have an M-Audio fast track uh, recording interface. And so if that's the one you're using, that's the one you want to switch. So let's just stick with internal microphone for right now. Um, again, you know, electric guitar, microphone, or fast track. So uh, we're going to stick with that one. We're going to close that off, and we're going to open up GarageBand. Okay, so now you see my GarageBand window. First thing I want to do is actually I'm going to just really quickly give a real instruments track just so we can have one there to work with. All right, so the first one, let's talk about electric instruments, electric guitars, acoustic electric guitars, basses going into the Mac. Um, so the first thing you want to check is the preferences in the system. Now, you go up to GarageBand to find that. Sorry, I went a little fast. Here are the preferences right here. And you'll get this window right here. You want to go to audio slash MIDI. Now, you'll see audio output and audio input. This is probably where your problem is. Um, if you are trying to record an acoustic instrument with the microphone that's built in, you will want built-in microphone. If you are going with your electric guitar into the Macintosh with just a cable, you want built-in input. If you are plugged into your fast track or your uh, recording interface, you want to select your recording interface. All right, now we close this. And we want to check, this is an important one right here, this guy right up here. This is to enable and disable the channel in and out of record mode. This will a lot of times be the things that the thing that people forget to have turned on, and it will definitely affect, even if your monitor is on, if this button is blacked out, uh, it won't, you won't hear it. All right, so let's say this one is on and it's not muted, no other channels are soloed, and you still can't hear it. Go over to the amplifier on the right, double click that, and you'll see here, input source. Uh, like I said, we are gonna use the built-in input, so mono one is the one we want, and here is where it says monitor, and this is you know where you control if you hear it or not, um, on or off, or on with no feedback protection. Uh, I recommend the feedback protection. It's a nice, nice thing that they built in there. Um, so that's that for the electric guitar. Now, if you're going to be using an acoustic instrument, again, you want to select the preferences and you want to check it out, you know, which one of these inputs you want. If you're using the onboard microphone, you want that one. If you're using a recording interface, you want that recording interface. And yes, you really want to change the audio driver for your recording interface. Let's say that's the one we're playing with today. All right, we'll close this audio slash MIDI window. And you can see now that I changed the driver, the record enable and disable is not enabled. So we want to definitely make sure that this is enabled, not muted, no other channels are soloed. And then we come down here, and you can see that it has switched down here to my fast track. Now, if you're using an electric guitar or a, you know going in with your acoustic electric or something, you know, you'll probably, nine out of ten times, you're going to want mono one fast track. Um, Stereo recordings without a real stereo setup, like two separate microphones or a stereo microphone, uh, it, it just doesn't work that great. So let's say it's mono one. And then again, down here, 
right under where the input source is, you see where it says monitor. And you will want that on. And you can again, you can choose the feedback preferences. So that's pretty much it. Those are the two ways to get into your Mac. If all of this fails, I'll give you one more tip. Let me switch back to my other screenshot and I'll tell you what it is. All right, so those are all the places you want to be looking uh, to make sure that your preferences are set up right to get the sound. If none of that works, turn your Macintosh all the way off, save your project, turn your Macintosh all the way off, turn it back on, go through and check those preferences again. And uh, that's, you know, the, that's the last resort is to restart. And, you know, it happens to me sometimes. I can't get a signal going and I restart my Mac and boom, it's fine. So I hope that helped and uh, have a great day. I'll see you soon. Bye.